Hey guys, this is Profits from WildProfits.com. Welcome again to my Profits Gold Making series. This video specifically, we're going to talk about a very simple subject, but uh, it's important, and that's to how to create groups and uh, subgroups or sub subgroups. So let's get started. In the upper left hand corner, uh, once you open Trade Skill Master, which you can do with typing forward slash TSM, short for Trade Skill Master, or on your mini map, you can click the little button that says Trade Skill Master. Then you're going to click on the crystal symbol where it says groups. It's the second symbol from the left. Click on that and then you see on the left hand side group structures which is collapsible based upon the little plus and minus symbol you can expand and collapse. But how do you actually create groups? So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the very top level of the group which is called groups and then on the right hand side you'll notice as you navigate through these different windows will appear on the right side uh, based upon what you have clicked on the left side. So on the very top level, left click on groups and then you're going to name your group. So here we're going to call it Profits Test Group 1. You can call it anything you want. Spaces are allowed if you wanted to have spaces. The only thing I say is when you name a group, just name it in a way that you understand <laughs> what is in the group. If you name it Test Group 1, you really don't know what's in the group. So if you take a look at some of my example groups, you see flipping, I have specifically 10 to 19 green armor, 10 to 19 green weapons, 77 to 80, which is gear levels. Uh, you see I have transmog lists broken down. I have uh, some Xmogs broken by the actual type, which is, you know, exalted, glorious, jade, saltstone, etc. So name the group something important that you're going to know what it is just by looking at it. Once you create, name the group, you have an option here. If you're going to be creating multiple groups, I recommend unchecking this box, which means switch to new group after creation. Which means if I create this group and I switch to, if I have this checked off, it will actually bring me to the group. Watch what this, watch what this does. I named it Profits Test Group 1. Yeah, keep that checked. I hit enter. It's going to bring me right to that group. Notice it brings me on the left side right to the group structure. Top level, the parent group. And then I, it allows me to interact with operations or rules against that group. But let's say we want to create three or four groups at the same time without going into detail on what we want to do with the groups. So let's do that. Let's click on left, click on the groups again. I copied and pasted my former one. So we're going to call this group two. Notice I'm going to uncheck this now. Uncheck. You can hit OK or you can hit Enter. Notice it keeps me right there. It did create the group. If you scroll to the bottom, I have quite a, group, quite a few groups showing. But you notice that it will say Test Group 2. Now if I wanted to keep going, let's say I'm, I'm creating a structure. I can do Test Group 4. I can do Test Group 5. I can do Test Group 6. Notice it just keeps creating the groups on the left-hand side. With this checked, it will bring me inside of that group and ask me what do I want to do with the items in this group. So now let's talk about subgroups. That's a parent group. Now let's say we want to create subgroups underneath that. Well, it's kind of the same thing. Instead, we're going to use the management tab. So now notice if you left click on the group, the parent group, you have four tabs to work with on that group. Operations, items, import, export, and management. In order to create a subgroup of that parent group, left click on the group you want to do, left click on the management tab, and then you have a couple options. You can create a subgroup, almost like what we did with the checkbox there. You can rename this group, you can move this group, and you can delete this group. But right now we just want to create a subgroup of the parent group test. So now I'm going to rename this to subgroup1. I'm going to copy and paste this just for example. And then you can hit enter or the OK button. But notice again, I'm going to uncheck this. And then I'm going to hit enter. And notice it put it underneath there. But it kept me in here. So now if I want to do subgroup 2, if I want to do group, subgroup 3, subgroup 4, and so forth. If I want to go to the next group, I could do that as well. Highlight the parent group. Management tab. Name the group. Group 2. If I check this off, and by default it's checked, I hit the OK or hit Enter, it brings me right to the operations of that group. And you guessed it, you can have 
groups of subgroups of subgroups of subgroups. So if I wanted to again create another subgroup of this, I'll uncheck this just for example. And I'll hit enter. It created another subgroup. And it changes the colors per section just so you know, yeah, you're going a little bit deeper. See how it keeps going? Now it's going to ask or force me to expand it because we went beyond two subgroups. But I can keep going. Again, I don't recommend going more than three or four subgroups because you're going to get lost in doing what you're doing. And there's really no need to do this type of structure. So let's say you want to delete a structure. Let's say I created all these by accident. I went crazy. I hit the <laughs> create group so many times and I want to go back. You can highlight the subgroup or the parent group. And you can go to management and then you can delete it by clicking the delete group button. The important thing here is if you have items that are already in the, this group and then you have items that are all in all these subgroups underneath this parent group, you don't necessarily want to delete the items. So you want to make sure that you keep the checkbox that says keep items in parent group. So if I delete this subgroup, delete, the items that were in that subgroup 5 are now in the parent group and it keeps growing up, up, up until all the items are back on the top level group. So you want to delete a group, left click on the group, management, delete group, management, delete group. This is the structure that I recommend going to. Don't go any deeper than a parent, a subgroup, and then maybe one sub-subgroup. That's how Trade Skill Master breaks it out when you have professions. So if you have a profession, you'll notice that Trade Skill Master will pop up a window. And I explained this in my former video about groups. And it will ask you, do you want... Trade Skill Master to create the group structure for you. If you click the Yes button, it will actually break it down by a parent group of professions. Underneath that, based upon what profession you have, will be parent group professions, subgroup crafting or jewel crafting, sub subgroup will be broken down into two sub subgroups, crafts and materials. And that's as high as it goes. It goes three deep. I don't recommend going any more than three groups deep because you can just get lost. The reason why you kind of nest groups or have a group and a subgroup is it gives you more control over the items in that to work on operations or work on specific prices, but not really necessary. So now we have all these groups that are in here. You know how to create a group. You can delete a parent group just like you can delete a subgroup. Same functionality. Left click on it. Management tab. Delete. Same thing. Left click on it. Management tab. Delete. Left click. Management. Delete. Same thing. So now let's say we actually mislabeled something. Let's say this subgroup 2. Let me delete this last group here. And we go into subgroup 2. And it should have been warrior weapons 1 or whatever. You can go into management tab. And you can just simply rename it. So it's currently called profits test group 2. So we're going to do Profits Test Warrior Group. And you just hit the OK button or Enter. And notice it changes it. It doesn't change any of the items that are in it. It doesn't change any of the sub-groups or sub-sub-groups, the names of those. Just the top-level group that you currently have highlighted. Same thing. You want to delete stuff. Management. Delete. I want to delete the parent group. Delete. And the same thing. That's what would get you through creating your structures in your groups. When you go into other also management, you can move a group. So let's say now I want to move a group. Let's say we want to move this subgroup test group four to I don't know, let's move it up to transmog, xmog up top. So I want to get to the group, find it in your uh, structure, and you get that just by clicking on the move. It'll pop up a little window. And it'll show you just like what's on the left side. And then you just scroll down until you find your group. I want to move subgroup. Okay. And then it tells you move to top level. Or you can move it to wherever you want to. So click on that. Where do you want to move it to? I want to move it to transmog. Okay. Bam. It's moved up to transmog. Notice how I did that? Let's move subgroup 3 up to transmog. Left click on it. Management, left click on the window here, and then select where you actually want it to move. 
I want to move with the transmog. Left click. Okay. Let's delete these. You remember how to delete? Yes. Management tab. Delete. And deleting it from the top level will delete all the subgroups underneath it. So, let's go back up to here now. Let's say we want to move these back down to flipping. Left click on it. Management. As long as it's highlighted, that's the group that you're going to select and move. Left click inside of move. We want to move this down to flipping. Highlight just the flipping group. Or you can highlight a subgroup and it will move it exactly underneath there. Okay, move down. Management. Relabel this. I want to be deleted. Enter. It renamed it. What do we want to do with that? We want to delete it. You guessed it. Management. Delete group. Left click on this test group. Management. Move to top level. Notice now it moved it to a parent level. Remember, the structure is parent, child, child, or top level group, subgroup, sub subgroup, sub sub subgroup. It kind of nested. It's a nested tree flow. So if I delete a group, let's move this back into a regular group and then we'll bring it back to top level. So now I want to left click on this, management. We want to move this to back to flipping. Notice it moved it from a top-level parent group now to a subgroup of flipping. But now we say, well, I really wanted that to be its a top-level group, a parent group. Left-click on it, management, move to top-level, and it's now a parent group. And that allows us to have management subgroups underneath that and start building out that structure. So that explains all of the management tab functionality in relation to groups. Import and export, we'll be talking about that in another separate video. I think that's important when you're building out groups and inventory in that groups. Items in those groups, uh, we'll be talking about as well as we talk about uh, import and export. And then the first tab, we're going to be talking about each of these operations or business rules separately. So that breaks down uh, the group structures, how to create groups, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for watching this video series. I appreciate it. Again, I'm helping you build a foundation of the fundamental aspects of Trade Skill Master. Once you master these, you can do anything you want in the game, and you can make as much gold as you want in the game. Thank you for watching this video on Profits from WowProfits.com. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, happy earnings.